Hi, I'm Cassandra Hope and I'm here with Cynthia Beretta of Beretta Family Farms as well as Andy Fantus, receiver for the Hamilton Tiger Cats. And the three of us have gotten together today just to talk about awesome organic nutrition and how that might positively impact our experience in life every day. So Cynthia, tell us about your company and Beretta and how you've been servicing your clients over the years. So Beretta Family Farms started over 20 years ago. We started out as a, an organic meat company providing meats actually first to just homes and then we slowly grew and grew as the organic movement kind of started mm -hmm. to grow and uh, get bring, gain momentum. We started to supply grocery stores, so we supply Loblaws, Whole Foods, Longos, Pusateries in the Toronto area. We supply across the country under all kinds of banners. And about two years ago, I'm, I'm Italian and I grew up in a kitchen surrounded by nonnas and moms who have been cooking. Yeah. And uh, uh, I you know, kind of just out of a, a few different things that happened, I started cooking and catering, and but always with an organic focus, yeah. and always only ever using our organic meats. I love it. Yeah, and so we wanted to create a product that was healthy, organic, and very, very tasty. Mm. And so that's really an important part of what we do when we're feeding athletes, when we're feeding individuals, weekend warriors, uh, you know, corporations like Tridel, people who have a focus on um, organic, environmentally conscious yeah. corporations who just want an alternative for their food and what they're eating and what they're feeding their employees. Yeah. And we feed a lot of athletes, which is great. So uh, they, I think that they feel better after they eat our proteins and yeah. our organic produce, um, but we'll ask him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So your coach, Brian Marshall, did tell me that you kind of basically eat like a caveman. So um, what does that mean? What does your day, a day in the life of eating for you look like? Well, uh, my diet consists of a lot of high, high quality proteins, a lot of organic meats, uh, and that's one reason why I'm really excited to be here uh, with Beretta. I love their meat and, and their meals. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, I try to get as much variety in my, my uh, diet as I can. Mm -hmm. um, and it's amazing the difference, uh, how you feel on your energy levels from having a good meal to having a bad meal. Uh, so I feel really strongly about it. I, I think that nutrition is a huge part of your lifestyle and especially as an athlete. Uh, my success, so I uh, really try to eat as much as I as much as I can and as much different high quality foods as I can. So uh, it's yeah, you're good. Yeah, it's, I have a big appetite, and uh, <laughs> so I'm, I'm excited to be here and see how it all works. Good. I think I think Chef Paula is really excited to show you both what she does, and. Uh, you know, get you guys in there and get you, you know, get you really hands on. Yeah. Amazing. So let's hop in the kitchen and join Paula and we're going to see how Beretta creates these awesome meals. Great. Thank you so much for having us in your kitchen today. No problem. How's it going? Awesome. Amazing, yeah, amazing. Too. So you've prepared countless meals for healthy meals for um, people over the years and the days of like steamed chicken breast and steamed broccoli with no flavor are gone, yeah? I would hope so. Yeah, I would hope so yeah, too. Yeah. <laughs> so to give an example, you've prepared an amazing meal for us today. Yep. Um, can you explain a little bit about the ingredients and how you did it? Sure. So. Um, I find that when you start with a really great ingredient mm. from the beginning, mm. it doesn't take a lot of work and a lot of effort to take such a great product and turn it into a delicious meal. Make it really yummy. Yeah. yeah. So something you can do with the chicken breast um, is still cook it a healthy way, yeah. no skin, but marinating it ahead of time. Yep. Yeah. With a little olive oil, balsamic, lemon juice. Simple. Very Everybody's simple. got that in their kitchen. Yes. Awesome. Very simple. Um, and then you'd want to start with a really great olive oil and a really great balsamic. Mm -hmm. um, what we have here on the side is a quinoa salad with some grilled vegetables as well. Okay. Coming into the summertime, you'll be getting your grill going. Um, there's lots of opportunity to emphasize the grill. And get more flavor from the grill. Yes. That's awesome. Yes. Um, and then on the other side here as well, we have a beet and beet green salad. Oh, is that beet? Yes, those are that roasted golden beets. Um, so something that's really great about beets that, um, and as their you know, our vegetable season is 
getting more fruitful yeah, right now. Yeah, colorful. Yeah, so you can use the beet greens as well. Oh, cool. You would pick it off the stem, chop it up, saute, and mix it Great inside. idea, yeah. great idea. So Andy, is this something that you might have in your home in the kitchen, something you might create? I don't know if I've experimented with the, uh, the whole beat, but... <laughs> it might not look I'm, this good, but yeah. pretty close. No, I'm, I'm definitely a... I, I love the grill, yeah. and I do believe that you just start with good ingredients, high quality meats, um, you have your spice rack, you have your good olive oil, like you said, and uh, you can really experiment and make a bunch of different things. So yeah. uh, I've tried a bunch of different varieties of spices over the years, and um, yeah, like I love chicken off the grill, and... and, and steak to beef and uh, I gotta be a little more adventurous with my salads probably but uh, <laughs> it's a good idea it's yeah it looks, it looks really good yeah so it sounds like you're a really great cook and but let's say you're really low on time um, that's when you would outsource a company like Beretta to make sure that you have those meals when you're traveling a lot or you don't have time that day to cook absolutely yeah and even in the off season when uh, when I have a little more time you think you, you end up getting busy and you know, some some things come up last minute, and so I typically try to get one one meal a day uh, outsourced, and so I know I'm, I'm whether I eat that for lunch or dinner. Uh, you know, they, they, it's it's great meal; it stays fresh, and uh, so it's, you have to have a, a company like this <laughs> at you know at your disposal. Yeah, yeah, it's it's great because so. it's all about preparation. Right, and and the worst thing you can do is is kind of get lazy and. Go for fast food or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. When you're starving, you go for the carbs, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. You need it. Awesome. Awesome. This is really exciting. So, thank you so much for having us in your kitchen today, and thank you for joining us, Andy. This has been amazing, and I hope this really helps to inspire you guys. Um, everybody has access to fresh foods and just a little bit of spices, like Chef Paula was saying, with some good oil. Um, and if you don't have time, then it's great to know that there's a company like Beretta that you can outsource this food uh, for you and your family. So, bon appetit, guys. <laughs>